pilots? Well, uh, votes have been tallied, and um, you know, I had it was neck and neck, guys. Honestly, honest to God, it was, it was neck and neck. I had a lot of outside voters, and a lot. I had a, a just. I only had one thumbs down. I had three thumbs up. Uh, and that, of course, the thumbs up was for this one. The thumbs down was for the P38. The guys there, they were nice enough to leave comments instead of giving me a thumbs down. thought that was kind of cool. Thank you, guys. Um, the response on these two planes was, was really pretty good. Uh, uh, almost neck and neck. I mean, really, right down to it, guys. I've got the tally sheet here. Um, and it goes kind of like this. I'm doing the scroll method. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys don't mind. I'm going to mention a couple of names out there. Uh, uh, I can't cover everybody that, that, that cast their votes because uh, they were really... Uh, uh, the votes actually came down to uh, uh, like 15, 15 to 15. I mean, it was even up. Um, the one big difference, though, guys, is that the overall enthusiasm over the P-38 was, was much more. Uh, a lot of you guys trying to stuff the ballot box out there. Uh, RC Reviewer, Clarence, <laughs> you got me cracking up, man. And you got everybody else started on it, too, so good job. Good job. i got to give you the uh, uh, E for initiative there, for sure. Or, yeah, anyway. Um... But Andy Smith, uh, he, he voted uh, a couple of different times for the YF-23. Of course, everybody's vote only counted as one. All right, I you can't do the favorites thing, you know, but uh, uh, the overall tendency was to go towards the P-38. So it came down, uh, honestly, guys, to about the last uh, 15 minutes. And uh, we had RC Reviewer was P-38, must have said it about eight times. Aero FPV, Armando, how's it going out there, buddy? Yeah, you were all adamant about that, too. Uh, Ian, Ian, I think I got the name right, Pfeiffer? Ian, thanks for watching, thanks for checking into this and following. I've had a guess with this, guys, by the way, thanks. Uh, just a lot of fun. What else to do? It's raining and nasty again, but uh, I rarely have the opportunity of, of having two planes at the same time. So, uh, uh, per elders... For elders, I don't know where you're at, but uh, you've given me some good informative advice. Uh, you recommended the YF-23 because uh, it takes less time to build, and then I was going to probably go ahead and build this one anyway. Well, you're right. Um, but it came down to it, honestly, guys. All of, all of yous were great, and your comments were awesome, and y'all had some really good points of why I should do one over the other. Uh, uh, RC Reviewer mentioned to me, I think uh, uh, another uh, flyer out there mentioned to me that uh, I should build the P-38 because I'm going to be flying that sooner. Uh, this one here I'm, I'm a little leery of yet. You know, I'm going to have to build up some confidence and you know, maybe get a little bit more practice with some of the smaller, you know, cheaper ones. Uh, master those 64s, man, and I'll probably tear the sky up with this thing. So uh, it came down to 15 to 15 votes down to the last minute. Um, and I was just about to, to, to call it a tie, guys, because I was thinking, you notice the size of the table? I had a thought of doing bo uh, both planes at the same time. Um, common sense kind of got a hold of me a little bit and thought, well, you know what? They're both nice planes, and I need to focus uh, attention on one plane at a time, uh, especially if I want to do the detail job that, I, that I'm really setting up to do here. So at the last minute, the tiebreaker came in. N.J. Sully Alex. I'm guessing that is uh, Alex Sully from New Jersey. And he voted Warbirds all the way, P-38. So, guys, the, uh, the YF is a cool bird. We're going to do a build on it anyway, but sorry. Sorry. Real soon, though. I promise. I promise. So, I guess... Uh, this is going to make a lot of my uh, my regular guys out there pretty happy, but uh, we'll be we'll be putting this one together pretty quick here, and uh, I'll get started on it. You notice I improvised a table, and uh, much I think I'm going to need it for this plane, 1600 millimeter. I, 
And looking at judging at it, I think it's going to be bigger than the B-17, which is uh, a, a 1,600 millimeter. So this is going to be an awesome table tabletop. I'm just using a piece of the uh, a piece of thick drywall, and I've shimmed it around the table uh, itself that it's sitting on, so it's it's pretty firm. Uh, DX9 guys, hopefully no more crashes, right? No more brownouts, no more whatever was going on with uh, uh, with you know my radio losing uh, its settings and stuff like that. That was just really weird. Um, you notice also I've got a Hobby Eagle here, that is a uh, gyro flight stabilizer. Uh, more than likely I was going to use that on the YF if that had been picked. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to need it on this one to tell you the truth. So that's out of the picture. This is just a servo tester, guys. Something recently that I picked up. I hooked it up to a, a battery pack or a little power source of about 5 volts. And, and I can test the servos and I can set them and run, run the range adjustments and everything too. Makes it a lot easier than having to hook up all that macaroni mess that, that you get when you open these things up and, uh, you know, trying to do it that way. You can grab one at a time. Because those labels aren't always labeled correctly, if you've ever noticed. I mean, it's happened to me time and time again. Elevator. Oh, really? Elevator. Okay. Go to click the elevator and, and the gears start coming down. You know. <laughs> so, anyway, that, that kind of stuff happens. So, yeah, new radio, guys. Going to start. Uh, I needed more memory anyway. 10 memory on the, on, the, uh, on the DX6i wasn't going to cover it with the amount of planes I've got, so I needed something a little bit better, especially for the nicer models. Get some of this stuff here out of the way. The light set, the super ultra bright Hobby King light set. That's for this bird. That's for this bird. Brand new spectrum receiver going in the bird. This would have been for the YF that doesn't have a pilot. And uh, these are just things that I use, guys, in, in case that while I'm working on something, I have to shim something or hold a wing up or get just the right angle because this stuff can break real easy just at the right height. That's just packaging material. It comes free with the plane. You're not going to you're not gonna hang on to it probably, so why not make use of it uh, with the build? Sometimes I even use the actual styrofoam crate uh, to do the build on you see, I've got just a number of different tools and stuff out here, you know, basic pliers, some scissors. I've got the Dubro uh, plastic, hard plastic scissors, so if you have to cut anything hard and do it accurately, these things go through it like butter. Uh, then I basically some, you know, paint sticks, mix sticks, things for epoxy, should I need to use that. Usually I, I'm using the foam tap. Um, yeah, and then you want to keep some alcohol, I love 90%. Alcohol, guys. Uh, give it a little shot on, on something clean. This microfiber works real nice. And then, of course, clean paper towels because your hands get dirty and you don't realize it. Next thing you know, you're working with glue and it's on white styrofoam and your hands and the dirt and everything's all over your new plane. And the more you try to clean it up, the more you muff it up. So, clean paper towels, alcohol, sometimes just a little bit of a, a damp sponge with regular, just lightly soapy water is even better yet, because then you don't take the paint off. The alcohol, if you do it too hard, you take the paint off. Okay, so to all you guys out there, I want to say thank you for uh, uh, participating. And uh, I had a lot of fun with this, and, and we'll get this thing going. And, and uh, hold tight. We'll, we'll, we'll get her together. I'm going to try and get it together this weekend. We should get the video up by, uh, I'm, I'm shooting for Sunday. I got a couple other little projects. Had a tractor broke down today. Got to find a belt for that and then uh, uh, get some work done so I can get paid to pay for some more of these planes. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for participating. This was fun. We'll do it again sometime.